Because they were never afraid of nothing. Even the, the, the scary people, the boogeyman, the Yorona, all the shit, we had nothing. My dad put that fear in us at an early age. My dad took us to go see the exorcist in 1973. He took me and my little brother. I was five. My little brother was four. Yeah, we were in Denver Harbor at the Majestic Metro right there just chilling. And my little brother is, you know, looking around. And he's just looking around like, what's up, bro? He's like, hey, man, you notice we're the only kids in here? So I started looking around. I'm like, damn, their dad don't love them. Dad loves us. It's Monday. It's dollar night. They don't even love their kids a dollar. That's shitty, man. Okay, there was two black couples in front of us. This one black man turned around and looked at my dad. And he said, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I don't mean to bother you, man, but I saw this movie two days ago, and it's really scary. I just want to let you know because you brought your kids with you. My dad got all cocky and shit. Hey, don't worry about my kids, man. These are grown-ass kids. Thank you. Hey, dynamite. Thank you. Thank you, dynamite. Thank you. And, you know, we didn't know what the fuck dynamite was or whatever. And, and if you Google it, good times didn't even come out until 74. I don't know how the fuck my dad knew that shit. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm sitting there, and that movie is one of the scariest movies of all time. There's grown-ups that are screaming and yelling and jumping and shit. So me and my little brother are, are dude, we're petrified. We're covering our eyes. And my dad, hey, I paid a dollar. Pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. And I'm like, man, dad, no, no, that's what happens. And he, my dad goes, you see me? That's what happens. When you're bad, that's what happens. Look, the mommy's trying to help her, but she can't because she was bad. So that's why the devil went in her, and that's why the mommy can't do shit, because she was bad. So if you're bad, that, that's what's going to happen. And we're like, okay, dad, we ain't never going to be bad. I promise you that shit. I never want that to happen. Okay, me, I just want to let you know. And then when the head started spinning and the guacamole started going everywhere, oh, my dad wasn't going to let us miss that shit. No, no, mira, look at this shit. Look at this part, man. <laughs> She got the cross and did all that crazy shit. Me and my little brother jumped on the fucking negrito. Man, please, sir, get us out of here. And that black man carried us all the way to the lobby, threw people up the stairs, all the way to the lobby, and sat us down there and said, hey, man, y'all stay right here. I tried to tell you that was a scary movie, okay? Don't go with nobody. You wait for your dad right here. Oh, by the way, that uh, dynamite shit, tell your dad I was going to fuck him up for that shit. <laughs> Your dad's a little motherfucker to be talking all that shit. I'm like, you know what? I don't think he likes black people. You ought to go hit him right now. Because I think I just doo on myself. And then my dad, you don't understand. My dad would use her forever. My dad would use this exorcist lady forever. My dad would be like, hey, go to sleep. The exorcist is coming. And I'm seven, eight years old. Go to sleep. She's coming. Damn. Sometimes we weren't even sleepy. Sometimes it was fucking three or four in the afternoon. <laughs> Go to sleep. The exodus is coming. Go to sleep. And I'm like, man, you got a hangover. Ain't no fucking exodus coming. I was like, dad, it's daytime. <laughs> she don't come out in the daytime, dad. My dad got the phone. You know what? I just saw her at the store. You want me to call her? Eh? You want me to call her, cabron? And I'm like, that bitch got a phone? I told my brother, fuck, give me the Nyko. Give me the Nyko, bitch. We got to go to sleep. And... <laughs> Fucking drinking the fuck out of Nyko. <laughs> now I'm nine. Now I'm 10. Now I'm 11 years old. I'm almost 12. My little brother's 10. I'm, I'm, I'm 11. I'm about to be 12. And my dad, go to sleep. The exorcist, hurry up, go to sleep. And we didn't run no more. Like, we just both kind of walked away. My little brother was in front of me. And out of nowhere, I just felt like a little man. I was like... Man, fuck the exorcist. <laughs> my little brother was like, what? I'm like, man, fuck her. I ain't drinking no more fucking NyQuil. I'm going to be fucking 12 years old on dialysis, dude. This fucking NyQuil's fucking on my kidneys and liver and everything. <laughs> then my little brother said some shit that fucked me up. He's like, you know nobody's seen her, right? I was like, who? Nobody's seen who? The exorcist. Nobody's seen her. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, this whole summer. The whole summer I went to all my friends' house all over the blocks and nobody's ever seen her. 
I'm like, are you serious? He goes, yeah. And not even Beto. And Beto's bad. He's always smoking and burning shit and breaking houses and, and stupid shit. And, and not even him. Cousin Mario says she don't come to the hood. And I started thinking, you know what? That house that, that, that little girl was in, it was a two-story house. That was a nice neighborhood. Yeah, just, I live in Denver Harbor. I don't know if this bitch going to come to Denver Harbor. And, so then I got mad. I'm like, you know what, bro? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. And I grabbed my Pelly gun. I had a Daisy model, a 740. And some of y'all don't know about Pelly guns, but like a Pelly gun today, if you pump it up, it don't matter how many times you pump that fucker. You're going to pump it up. It's going to stay the same PSI. You're just going to just keep going. My Pelly gun, that fucker got harder and harder every pump. You're like, uh, uh. you have to put that bitch on your chest and be like, uh. What are you going to do? I'm going to shoot that bitch. I'm going to shoot her in the fucking eye. Like, yep. I told my brother, go to sleep. My brother drinks some NyQuil. He's like, you're not scared? Like, nope. I'm going to be right here. And I was sitting right there, dude. And I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. About 2 o'clock, 2.20, my little brother wakes up. He said, like, hey, bro, you okay? I'm like, I'm good. You're not scared? Like, nope. I done pumped this bitch up about 800 times. <laughs> Shit, look at my arm. Look how big this motherfucker got. Look at the little skinny ass arm compared to this. <laughs> I was pumping the shit out of my pellet gun. I was like, you know what? I'm going to put two pellets. I'm going to buckshot that bitch. I'm going to shoot her in both eyes at the same time. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm bad. My dad, my dad heard me saying all this because the bathroom was in the middle of the hallway, two bedrooms with the end. So my dad heard me talking all that shit. And instead of being a good dad and going on there and spanking me and whipping my ass like you're supposed to, no. He went back to his bedroom and told my mom, and told my mom to dress up like the exorcist. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they're talking shit. I want you to put his makeup and do this and that and put this on and this and that. And I want you to go out the front door and go around the backyard. And I want you to get a brick and throw it through the fucking window. And then throw the guacamole right behind it. <laughs> my mom didn't see the exorcist. So she didn't know nothing about the guacamole and the exorcist. <laughs> Pero por qué el guacamole? Trust me. Throw the guacamole, that's going to scare him. Man. So I'm sitting there thinking I'm a bad motherfucker, dude. And then I hear, Ch -ch -ch. I hear your know, shit outside. I'm like, oh, I pumped that bitch up some more. Like, oh, here she comes. I hear the dogs barking. Like, bitch, oh, shit. It's about to go down. And I thought I was a bad little fucker. But when you fucking, you're 11, 12 years old, and you see a brick at 3 in the morning fly into the fucking window, a brick, and then fucking guacamole right behind it. Man, I fucking threw my panty gun. Bitch, she's outside. She does come to the hood. Give me the fucking night goal. Give me the both of them. Give me both of them. I'll do dialysis. I'll get them. <laughs> <laughs>